What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. So we actually just finished up like an eight and a half hour drive from New Orleans. Obviously we had a terrible experience there. Most of the experience was obviously pretty good. Obviously the terrible experience was them breaking into our car. We're actually still dealing with it. We literally drove the entire way over here uh, without a window on the passenger side, which really, really sucks and it's really annoying because it's super windy and I'm pretty sure we're all kind of like semi-deaf now. <laughs> so um, yeah, there, there was that, but uh, we are now finally in Texas, uh, which is amazing. I've been really, really looking forward to coming here. I hear so many great things about the state of Texas and I just had to experience it for myself. So first things first, we decided to book this uh, county jail. It is the Lavaca County Jail. I don't even know what city it's in, but uh, we're not too far from like San Antonio and uh, Austin. Uh, we're actually gonna be heading over to San Antonio after this. That's where our Airbnb is booked. We are actually have been welcomed to literally sleep over inside of the jail. Maybe we'll actually end up doing that tonight. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, um, but whatever it is that we decide to do, we do know that this place is gonna be one heck of a cool experience. We had two amazing Amazing ladies who just showed us around the place, gave us some of the history, told us some of the cool stuff that has happened here. Not a lot of stuff has actually ever been filmed here. I think we might be two of the very first people to actually film this place. Um, you can actually book the location as well online or you can give them a call and book it for yourself. It's very reasonably priced uh, to book the entire place. Jazz is actually going to meet us later on. He's just running a bit late. He told us that somehow he, ha he ended up in the, the desert. I don't know what the heck's going on. I think he might be doing some randonautica. Hopefully everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the jail itself. We're going to look at some of the cool artifacts that they have here. Uh, the jail cells upstairs. There's also separate jails outside. What the hell was that noise? It's like a really loud bang. Uh, Lomar and Chelsea are already kind of doing their own thing at the moment. Um, apparently this place is incredibly haunted. There's some really cool stuff that has been caught here and uh, I'm looking forward to documenting it. Just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of uh, what we're going to experience here in the jail itself uh, before the main channel video comes out. So give this video a thumbs up and uh, let's take a look around. Just heard something in there, literally, <laughs> as I'm hitting the record button. Uh, but yeah, we have this little house that was actually built onto the property. I don't know if, I think the house here was actually built first. Um, obviously, they have a lot of artifacts and newspaper clippings, all sorts of information about the place. Um, We're going to come back here and um, take a look over here. Apparently, this section is pretty haunted as well. So they say at least. And um, yeah, there's some boards and stuff in here with everybody's markings on them as they come through they told us that they told us that it is state law that we must absolutely sign our names before we leave so we'll definitely end up doing that if you guys ever come here um, sign your name next to ours and let us know that you were here too um, but yeah we're gonna go into the main part of the jail now take a look there and let's see exactly what we find this place is really cool Ooh, so creepy <laughs> We're spooky. All right. So here we are on the main level. I don't even know where they are. They're in some other random section here. It's quite cold on this side, but uh, we're okay with this kind of weather because we are Canadian and uh, this is like spring for us. <laughs> yeah, this is like a little bedroom set up here. I assume, let's see who these people were. Probably the sheriffs. Sheriff and Mrs. Ronnie Dodds. So he was definitely one of the sheriffs here in town. Apparently quite popular. I was reading a couple of the stories about him. I'm guessing this was probably their bedroom. Which is kind of crazy to imagine that people actually lived in a jail. Apart obviously from the prisoners who had to live in the jail. looks like the old office got some photos there probably of other sheriffs over the years whoa the Dalton gang so I'm gonna go through more of this stuff in depth later on for now I'm just kind of doing a little just a quick little preview we got some uh, Old duds in here, sheriff. We got some uh, jumpsuits. <laughs> Might take some uh, funny photos later. 
Nice. This is a cool setup, actually. I like this. Who's Cody? Look, there's just a random hat here that says Cody on it. Yeah, we're gonna definitely go more into depth in the main channel video afterwards, so look out for that. Those are the front doors. Yeah, so before we actually get Hola. into this. Hola. Uh, What's going was, on in uh, here? We actually got Angela on the host. Hi. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We got Angela on the host. We also have, I think, Yes, this is like the uh, front check in area. A bunch of names on there. Cool, good stuff. A lot of the other paranormal groups that have been here. This is where the uh, stairs are to go upstairs. Oh, let's take a look at what we've got up here. So we are still kind of reeling about what happened to us in New Orleans. It was a uh, Left us with kind of a sour taste in our mouth, unfortunately, is what it is. I do know car break-ins happen once in a while. I really wish that they wouldn't. And if you do the crime, you might just end up in a place like you're doing the time, right? So, um, yeah, we're still trying to figure that out. Like I said, we still have a uh, window completely smashed open. Very annoying to have to drive eight hours like that. But uh, we're here now, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves and uh, make the best of things. So these are the jail cells. There is actually another area with more cells. These are insane. Cause they're just like giant metal boxes with like these double bars completely riveted. Very dark, dingy, scary looking area. Apparently they had women in here too, which were on this side. And the lady was saying that she really, really does not like this area for some odd reason. They were saying that um, a lot of the, wait, where was it? I'm kind of lost in here now. There's an area where they used to exercise, which would have been back here. They used to walk up and down this way and then walk back over and over and over again and that's how they used to get their exercise but uh, yeah the place is not massive per se but it is supposed to be incredibly active so i am looking forward to capturing some cool stuff for you guys tonight there is also another more modernized cell block which is separate from this building it's actually outside there used to be a building that attached the two uh, but apparently the place was falling apart so they decided to tear it down and bring it back to its original exterior look um that place looks pretty cool as well we'll probably do some alone challenges in there and uh, just kind of see how it goes. So uh, that's pretty much it for this portion of the vlog. Tomorrow we will be in San Antonio, probably checking out some cool historic stuff, enjoying um, you know some of the culture here in Texas, different kind of stuff than what we're probably used to back home as Canadians. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. All right guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, welcome to Mexico, we made it. <laughs> we made it to Mexico. No, I'm just joking. We're actually in Texas still. Uh, we actually filmed a really cool place last night. It was this haunted jail. Man, it's really loud over here. But uh, we found an auto glass place, Myers Glass. And uh, they're actually going to be replacing the window for us at a really, really good price, actually. Uh, they're kind of a lifesaver because we can't drive all the way home to Snowland uh, with no window. It's just going to be very difficult. It's difficult to even over here with 14 degrees Celsius weather. I can only imagine trying to get home. So are you guys excited? We have a window? <laughs> Woo yeah, saved her ass. Shout out to uh, Myers Auto Glass here in San Antonio. Big time saved, saved our asses. <laughs> all right, so we got our window and uh, now it's time for some barbecue. When you come to Texas, you gotta eat barbecue. You gotta have all the briskets, all the pulled porks. I'm really excited for this. We actually walked into the wrong place at first and we're like, this doesn't look like a restaurant. This looks more like a butcher shop. 
very confused, but apparently the, they own both of them. There's like a butcher shop, and then you also can come here to eat the, uh, the food as well, which is amazing. So we're looking at the uh, menu here. There's so many things to choose from. I'm gonna try them all. <laughs> I'm gonna get the three meat barbecue plate here. 17 bucks, that's a really good price. Brisket, pulled pork, and I'm gonna get ribs. And, and maybe one sides. sausage so And two sides. You get? I'm gonna get mac and cheese and potato salad. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm glad I didn't get any extra. I was contemplating getting like a piece of chicken or a sausage or something, but I think that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, think, bro. Oh man. That was some wicked barbecue. Honestly amazing. I really like the brisket, the sauce, everything. So good. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah. I devoured it all. <laughs> you don't normally even eat meat, that's the thing. Then I got but, meat uh, and it was good. Me. Of course, of course yeah. it was good. Alright, we made it down to uh, San Antonio. We are now illegally crossing a street for the very first time here in Texas. <laughs> Apparently we're going to some like historic village thing if we're actually headed in the right direction. I don't know. My phone didn't, uh, wasn't calibrating properly so I don't know if we're going in the right direction. So I think this is like the uh, river walk area. Yeah, it looks pretty snazzy. I like it. Is there alligators? <laughs> yeah. This is cool. We don't got like this in Toronto. <laughs> wow, it's so calm. Why is like the river not flowing? Because it's a fake river. Oh, is it actually? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Like I don't know anything about anything down here. I guess I don't know. There's no plaques or nothing. There's a little statue over there though. So cool. Yeah, it actually kind of reminds me of like Japan had kind of stuff like this too. Oh yeah? Yeah. But this is uh, really neat. That's gorgeous. Wow. <sighs> All right, I think I'm gonna move here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so the the old city is up that way. Okay. The old city, oh yeah. Little village of San Antonio. Yeah. Look at this, this is awesome. There's like a little like amphitheater looking thing over like here. This. Yeah. Really good vibes. This is. Yeah, very good vibes over here. I know, it makes you feel like you're in a movie. But uh, we're slowly making our way up to the entrance of... Yeah, so I guess area. we can go up those stairs. What, what, what? Yeah, what? Just look, what? Just look at it! Just look at just it! Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine like an alligator just came through here. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, to the old village. Okay. Made it up the steps. What's that? <laughs> Made it up the steps. Now we're in the uh, La Villita. La Historic. Nice. It's very quiet here. Yeah. Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. This is cool though. Yeah, this part is cool. Yeah. So where's this cafe at? I need coffee. Cafe right there. Need it. Yes. So is that it? It's open. Nice. Very nice. Open. Yes, the doors are open. Yeah, we got, we got shafted. <laughs> it's okay, we'll find something else. I came all this way, eight hours. <laughs> Dang. I came all the way from the Philippines. All the way from the Philippines. This thing is interesting. It looks like an old furnace. <laughs> oh no, it's angry! <laughs> Have you ever heard them hiss? They hiss? Oh, yeah. oh, they hiss. When they're angry, they get they get really uh yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> That's what I heard one do before. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Look at it with its cute little head. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> it's so much. Enter it's so entertaining, though. <laughs> got a nice tail. Hi. I think. I think they want food. He wants food. Yeah, me neither. No food, man. Sorry. Sorry, little Texan squirrel. Okay, we're gonna go find coffee now. Can you lead us in the right direction of the cafe? Or a cafe that's open? Hello, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Uh, that way? Oh, this way. Is it this way, that way? Oh, Maybe this way. Talk, this way? I think there's some here. Some here? What about here? Is there some here? Here? Maybe here. How about how about now? Yeah, you just gonna have to bother. Oh, he might actually do it too. Nobody move. I can't believe we're this entertained by a squirrel. <laughs> I know, Literally. Right? <laughs> right. See ya. A fountain, you say? There's a fountain! Loma, there's a fountain! <laughs> yes! I love fountains, huh? Yes! <laughs> wow, it's so cool. Oh, look, a church. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's pennies down there. Jump in and grab some. It's coffee money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh oh. This is like, this is just a thing that happens to us. We always get locked in places. We get hooked into cemeteries, random parks. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Hold that, Chels. I just wanted to go for a walk. <laughs> Made it. Thank you. <laughs> she just squeezes right through. <laughs> it's like a prison break. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong animal, bro. <laughs> oh, look how they sleep. They're beautiful. Can I pet you? You come home with me, Chico? Gonna... Guys, something's on fire. Right? How do we get over there? We should have crossed. That is so cool. You gotta swim. <laughs> swim I'm pretty sure that's a part of a hotel. Not quite sure. Looks like it. Saw these birds everywhere. Whoa. Well, at least if they poop on you, it's good luck, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be when a bird poops on you. I don't know. I've had poops on. I've had poops on bird on me. Never had the good lucks. Look at all these beautiful carriages. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, you got braids. Look at you. Pretty. So we are heading towards the Alamo direction. I'll be honest with you guys. I literally don't even know what the Alamo is, but I'm going to learn about it. Aww. Hi. This one has braids. <laughs> wow, he's so soft. I want to touch too. <laughs> well, he is soft. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to be here for an hour just putting like a horse. <laughs> oh, look at his braids too. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, you're a spoiled little horse, right? Eh? Upside, take a ride. You can see it if you don't like pink and you change the color lights. <laughs> How much is it? It's twenty-five dollars per person for twenty minutes. You take cash and credit card. It's huh. literally more over here. Oh my God. Wow. Jack, boy. Hi. I think he's sleeping. Is he sleeping? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. This one's just itching to go. <laughs> he's like, I'm ready to go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, see, he's ready to go. <laughs> Come on, get on me. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Man, this place is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to come here. It looked cool in the pictures, so I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. I just knew the Alamo was here. There was some cool, like, historic-looking historic stuff. So unique. Whoa. You know what else is great here? I'll tell you what's great here. Freedom is good here. It tastes, it tastes good. The freedom, there's so much freedom, you can literally smell it. It's in the air. <laughs> it's contagious. It spreads like wildfire. <laughs> I'm in your parking spot, bro. Sorry. <laughs> he like skidded there. <laughs> there she is. Wait. <laughs> There she is, the Alamo. <laughs> What's the history behind this place? Not a f clue. <laughs> so does anybody know what the Alamo is all about? <laughs> I always hear about it, but I don't know really what it is. I never uh, went out of my... Wasn't, wasn't there like a battle or something? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, there's like cannons that are kind of... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a battle, like a fort sort of thing. I don't even know. That could be way off. Yeah. It could have just been like a church or like a meeting area. Yeah. No clue. Ooh. And that's so So, what have we learned so far, Lamar? It's a Spanish fortress. Cool. All right. That just about covers all the history of the Alamo. <laughs> it was a fortress. <laughs> cool. What is that thing? That's a cool monument too. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a beautiful area over here. I definitely gotta learn more about what the Alamo and the history is. Yeah, I have no idea. Because I think it could be interesting. There is this haunted adventure thing with a crazy lineup right now. I don't know. I don't really care. It depends, like, what it's all about. Oh, I'm, I'll pass on that. Is it just the walk? Yeah. Compressed in a room. I, I think it's kind of like the one we did in um, PDI. There is still the cathedral. We didn't see that. We gotta go find this thing too. Bus stop tomorrow. The ride here is about to start. <laughs> See, I should have been an actor here. Hi. I know you. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? Oh, it goes up. Do you just stay in there the whole time? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he did, I think he did a thing, guys. <laughs> he did a thing. <laughs> he just took the best shit ever. <laughs> oh, 
Good too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hi. <laughs> Literally what I just said. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's gorgeous. Wow. What a view. Unbelievable. So we are heading to the Rainforest Cafe, which I believe is down that way. This is awesome. We have located the Rainforest Cafe. I've not been here in years. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, this is a cool setup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we. I hope they actually have coffee. <laughs> so rude. Where did that come from? So unfortunately, the Rainforest Cafe doesn't have coffee. Which is like, what the hell? Has a cafe not have coffee? Makes no sense, but we're gonna go find a Starbucks. <sighs> hey, with no coffee. <laughs> okay. so Chelsea's angry. I just wanted to sit in the she's, rainforest and have she's coffee. She's kangry. She needs her coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and he looked at me like I was stupid. <laughs> Well, we don't have sign. coffee in the morning. Uh, uh what? Co what? Coffee? You're coming to like the you want, cafe. You want, you came to a cafe and you want It wasn't even coffee. that, like the guy's like, we don't have coffee right now. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. But, uh, yeah, we're on like five hours sleep because we were up all night last night filming this haunted jail, which obviously you guys saw the preview of. And, uh, yeah, we're exhausted. We need coffee. They're racing! Come on! Come on! Come on, Stallion! Come on! Come on! <laughs> yeah! I won! Screw you, Lamar! You owe me five dollars! <laughs> we found it! Yeah! <laughs> okay, Andy, calm down. <laughs> Andy Fillmore loves Starbucks. Andy Fillmore's here. No need to worry. <laughs> you do that so well. At some point I feel like Omar changed his voice. He's just pretending like it's actually as deep as it is. But really it's... Andy Fillmore! <laughs> I'm dating. I'm dating that. <laughs> Those flock of birds really got me. <laughs> they did feel right. It's okay, it's good luck. Now you have good luck for the rest of the trip. Mm. If only it happened in New Orleans, right? <laughs> oh, man. So many other people. Because you're Filipino. I'm in their land. And you have a, a deep voice. They heard you, they're like, oh shit! <laughs> it's right now. What? Something's really cold between my legs. <laughs> I'll leave that for you. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the Airbnb now and chill because we're like exhausted. Um, I don't know if we'll come back down tomorrow or find something else to look at, but we are heading to Dallas tomorrow, so that's also pretty exciting. So let's go!